One of the things that people always ask me is that what is the secret for success? Is there any one secret for success? <laughs> really, there isn't one secret for success. It's, it's many. Yet I want to simplify it and give you three simple elements that will empower you and give you that little edge that you're looking for. So the one thing I will assume you already have is what I call your business knowledge and business acumen. So being able to understand the business elements of the deal that you are bringing forth. How does it add value to the clients that you are serving? Now, if that is the case, then there are, here's the other three things. Number one, there's something called industry knowledge. You have to be aware and you have to research and understand the industry of your customer. Uh, not just the industry of your customers, but the industry of their customers too. So that you know what are the pressures acting upon them and their customers so that you see how what you have to sell and offer can add value to the entire chain. Second thing is about what we know is product knowledge. Now, it goes without saying that you really have to master your product, you have to master your, your understanding of your product, and also understand the competitor's strengths and weaknesses. Uh, that also goes as a second must. Um, the last but not least is what we call sales knowledge, and that's your ability to um, uh, be able to make that sale, to close the deal and, and follow the st selling steps, the various processes that allow you to get the deal coming where you want to go. Now, if you know selling skills, but you don't have the product knowledge or industry knowledge, it will fail. Uh, if you know industry knowledge uh, and product, but you don't have that technique of being able to um, handle what we call a complex sale, that also is going to be lacking. But when you combine these three things together, it really gives you that powerful combination. I'll share with you a story how uh, personally in a selling situation, I was able to demonstrate how these three things came together. So after one of my conferences, a sales person in the audience came to me and, and said, Ramis, you know, I'd like you to talk with our general manager. Uh, I believe that your ideas can help us make more sales. I said, great, tell me more about your company. So he described to me a company that had over 20 plus outdoor salespeople and does a certain level of turnover. Now, of course, to me, I was simply asking that question to qualify the opportunity. Now, as that happened, I said, tell me more about your company and tell me more about your issues or challenges. So he told me that they have X amount of salespeople and they mainly are selling some of the highly commoditized, low profit, high volume type of products. And I got to ask him about the production. Tell me about your production facility. He said that they have three lines and he said that, um, um, he said uh, we, 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 one of the lines is at 99% capacity. The other two are about 20% capacity. So I said, fine, great. And, and then we just went to the meeting. I went to the meeting. And as I met the general manager, I asked him a few questions, of course, build rapport. And I asked the question about, hey, what are your goals? What are the challenges that are stopping you from getting to where you want to go? Now, the one thing he said is, hey, we'd like, I'd like to double sales this year. Now, coming from a, uh, working with an FMCG and, and actually running my own, uh, my own business within a big FMCG uh, company, uh, I was responsible for growing sales. So I asked him, I said, well, if you do, if you double sales today, can you make the widgets that you are producing? Can you produce them? He looked at me and he goes, uh, no, I, I don't think I can produce them. I said, um, well, what would need to happen in order for you to produce them? He goes, we'll have to invest in retooling the factory. Now, of course, if that one production line that everybody sells the items is completely maxed out, if the same mix of sales come, they won't be able to produce more. So I said, how much it will cost you? He said, several hundred thousand dollars. And I said, wow, uh, you know, that, that definitely is an investment. And, uh, and of course, this one of the, the, the other option was to help his sales team make more sales of the value added items. And that's how I was able to help that company out. But again, if I didn't have the business acumen and understand how an industry would work, there'd be no way uh, I would have been perceived as a consultant. Uh, it'd be more like someone trying to go make a sale. And remember, selling is understanding the customer needs, understanding their challenges, and making sure that you give them the solutions that go with that. So again, this is Ramesh with the sales tips of the week. More to come, make more sales.